train was moving quickly. It was packed with humans. A six-year-old boy died in the third carriage. There was an intense spurt of coughing, almost an inspired spurt, and soon after, nothing. When I open, one still in a dream. It would be better for a complete dream, I think, but I really have no control over that. The second I jumped awake, and she caught me out, no doubt about it. It was exactly when I knelt down and extracted his soul, holding it limply in my swollen arms. For Liesl Memminger, there was the imprisoned stiffness of the moment and the staggered onslaught of thoughts, and the shaking. Why do they always shake them? Yes, I know. I assume it has something to do with instinct. To stem the flow of truth. Her heart, at that point, was slippery and hot and loud. So loud, so loud. Stupidly, I stayed and watched. I'm not quite sure what to do with your dead son here. vacated the cemetery and made their way toward the next train in Munich. Next stop, Munich. Both were skinny and pale. Both had sores on their lips. Liesel noticed in the dirty, fogged-up window of the train when they boarded just before midday. In the written words of the book thief herself, the journey continued like everything else had happened. Welcome to Himmel Street.